Hi everyone, my name is Erica and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to explain how I play The Sims 4 on a MacBook Air. I have been playing The Sims 4 on a MacBook Air since my first 2014 Mac that I had um, until that one died and I got a 2018 MacBook Air. So this video is kind of just for those of you who have a MacBook Air um, or a MacBook Pro and you don't really have enough space on your computer but you still want to play The Sims 4. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, my external USB, which is where my Sims 4 is stored, um, my monitor setup that I have in my apartment, and all of my in-game settings as well. Um, I'm thinking at the end of the video, I might discuss my plans for this channel. Um, as this is my first YouTube channel, and I don't really know what direction I want to go. Um, so this will kind of be a preface into what's to come. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching and let's get into it. So I first want to start this video with explaining to you um, what my specs are on my Mac. So I have a uh, Retina 13-inch 2018 MacBook Air. It's got a 1.6 gigahertz uh, processor with a Intel Core i5. Um, my graphics are kind of mid. They're not the greatest. I mean, it's Retina, so it makes the screen a little bit better than like my Dell laptop that I have for work. <laughs> um, and my memory is about eight gigabytes. And then I have the actual memory on my computer is 256 um, hard drive space. And even though 256 sounds like a lot, um, the Sims 4 actually takes up around 50 to 55 gigabytes of data if you have all of like the game packs and stuff packs and expansion packs. Um, I don't have all of them and my game actually takes up uh, 5393 gigabytes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's quite a lot to put on your computer and especially if you're using your computer for other stuff, um, this is not really reasonable for some people to be able to do. So that's where a USB drive or an external hard drive comes into play. Also, hi, this is editing me. Um, I'm just chiming in to say that I'm really sorry about my microphone throughout this video. Um, I am using a pair of headphones, so they're not very good. Um, I will eventually plan to get an actual microphone, um, so just bear with me. Thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. Okay, continue. So to download The Sims 4 onto my external hard drive um, or USB drive, I actually followed the step-by-step -step process that Bluebell Flora has posted on her blog. Um, I was going to make the video about how to do this, but I feel like that would just be an entire video in itself. Um, and I feel as though her instructions actually give it out pretty well. Um, and so they're really easy to follow. On her blog, she has a ton of different posts on how to download The Sims 4 onto an external hard drive, how to uh, move over your electronic arts folders and how to move your mods, um, and also like troubleshooting issues and stuff like that she has on here as well. So really good tips and guides and walkthroughs. And I definitely recommend checking out her blog, which I will link down below. So on the screen here, you will see my external USB drive. Um, so this is where I actually have downloaded all of my Sims apps. Um, so the Sims 4 game, and then also all of my um, expansion packs, stuff packs. And as you can see, I have quite a lot. Um, so it does take up a lot of space on the computer, um, where instead I just have it on the USB drive. And so the USB drive that I use is the Standisk 128 uh, gigabyte ultra dual drive. It has both USB type C and USB type A on either end, which is really great because I actually dropped my laptop on its side and bent the USB side. Um, so I can't even use that anymore. Um, so I can just use USB A, but it still works great and I have no issues. I've had it since 2021 and it's been going strong. So I did pick this up from Amazon for $20, um, which I will link in the description box down below. So the next thing that I want to talk about is my laptop and monitor setup. So the monitor that I use is a MSI Modern 23.8 inch full HD IPS monitor. Um, and then the keyboard that I use is a Rogue STRIX Flare Pink LTD 17.5 um, inch keyboard. But I connect these to my laptop while I'm playing the game just so that they run better. Um, I find them when I'm playing on the laptop itself. And then to connect everything, I use an adapter that has multiple USB ports and HDMI. So now I'm just jumping into The Sims 4 to show you my in-game options. So when I play, I never have it on full screen mode, and this is just because I find everything runs better on my Mac if it's in windowed mode. 
Um, I guess it has to do with the pixels. I'm not too sure, to be honest, but it just runs a lot better. Um, and then the resolution that's under the windowed mode is essentially like when I drag and move the screen size to do full screen windowed mode, um, it just auto sets its resolution. So I haven't actually manually set the resolution. Um, I just leave it as what it wants to do. <laughs> and then moving into the game graphic settings and the game options, um, I essentially will have my Sims up very high and then everything else is like medium to low um, settings and then lastly I do have laptop mode on and this is just because I did try going without laptop mode when I downloaded a set of eyelashes and although my Sim looked really good um, my computer just was lagging way more than it normally does so I just put laptop mode back on and just kind of forfeited the eyelashes so yeah. So that brings us to the end of this video. I just wanted to end by saying thank you for watching and I'm really excited to start making more videos on my channel. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and I will be sure to post more soon. Um, in terms of the direction that I want to go with my channel, I'm not totally sure. I would really like to do Let's Plays and some creative sim videos at some point. Um, I'll have to see if my laptop can handle it because right now I'm trying to work out like the audio portion with my video, um, like screen recording. So I'll just see how that goes. And in the meantime, um, happy simming and I will see you in my next one.